In this video, we are going to learn about the difference of data, information, and knowledge. The process of transforming data into information and the characteristics of quality information. Definition of the term information systems, its uses and components, the three types of information systems used in organizations, and the organizational complements to ensure success implementation and use of systems. Let's start. Data is a term used to describe facts without a clear context. For example, the numbers 711 and 42 and the word vector are all data. At the moment, there is no clear meaning that can be drawn from these data. Data can be represented in different ways. For alphanumeric data, we have numbers, letters, and other characters. For audio data, sounds, noises, or tones. For image data, graphic images and pictures, and for video data, moving images or pictures. On the other hand, information is defined as a collection of data organized and processed so that it has additional value beyond the value of the individual facts. For example, a certain peso value. If that value is said to be the sale for January 1, it becomes information. There is a clear context and meaning applied to that data. The value of information depends on how it helps decision makers achieve their organization's goals. In addition, valuable information can help people perform tasks more efficiently and effectively. For example, a sales manager may want individual sales data summarized so it shows the total sales for the month. The process of defining relationships among data to create useful information requires knowledge which is the awareness and understanding of a set of information and the ways in which that information can be made useful to support a specific task or reach a decision. For example, there are various foods that can be served to guests. To do it effectively, the host must have an understanding of the needs and desires of those being served for so that he knows what is best for them. With this, we can say that information is essentially data made more useful through the application of knowledge. We organize or process data mentally or manually, and sometimes we use a computer. The process of transforming data into information starts by selecting data, then organizing it, and finally manipulating the data. The quality of a decision is based on the quality of the information used to reach that decision. Here are the characteristics that determine the quality of information. Information should be easily accessible by authorized users so they can obtain it at the right time. Information should be error-free. When inaccurate data is fed into the process, then inaccurate information will be produced. Complete information contains all the important facts. For example, a ticket reservation system that does not show seats that were already sold does not have complete information. Information should be relatively economical to produce. The value of the information should be balanced with the cost of producing it. Flexible information can be used for a variety of purposes. For example, information on what are the seats left for airline passengers can be used by a customer, a sales representative, and airline reservation website or application. Relevant information is important to the decision maker. Information showing what are the delayed flights would be relevant to the passengers and check-in counters. Reliable information can be trusted by users. Reliability of information depends on the source of the information. Information taken from unknown sources may not be reliable. Information should be secure from access by unauthorized users. Information should be simple, not complex. Also, if a decision maker has too much information, then he might find it hard to determine what is really important. Timely information is delivered when it is needed. Knowing what seats are available in flown airline flights will not help when a passenger is trying to book a ticket for the next day's flight. Information should be verifiable. It can be checked to make sure of its correctness. One way is to check many sources for the same information. At this point, let us define the term information system. It is described as a set of interrelated components that collect, process, 
store, and disseminate data and information. It provides a feedback mechanism to monitor and control its operation to make sure it continues to meet its goals and objectives. For example, an advanced navigation system gives information that guides you to your destination. It also incorporates information about the latest weather and traffic conditions to help you avoid congestion and traffic delays. Another example is a point-of-sale system. It is the place where customers make a payment for products or services at a store. This system is composed of the following. Hardware. These are the computer equipment used to perform input, processing, storage, and output activities. Software. It consists of the computer programs that govern the operation of a particular computing device. Network. It connects computers and equipment in a location to enable electronic communication. Procedure. It defines the steps to follow to achieve a specific end result, such as entering a customer order. People. It includes all the people who manage, run, program, and maintain the system. Information systems are transforming organizations in so many ways. Here are some of its uses. It automates manual processes. Tasks that were previously done manually and that would take a lot of time to complete can now be done in a short span of time. It can help people do their jobs more efficiently and effectively. This allows businesses to provide better customer service and quality products. Also, when processes are automated, people can focus on other business operations leading to more productivity. It is used to solve problems and can improve decision making. It enables streamlining business processes. With the use of information systems, processes are digitized, and monitoring each process becomes easier and more convenient. With a proper authority, one data present in one process can be accessed and utilized in other processes. In addition, people within the organization can easily coordinate, collaborate, and communicate with others. Customers and suppliers get to interact with representatives of an organization smoothly and continuously. With all these being said, a business using an information system may reduce company expenses. With the benefits of information technologies included in the system, a company may lessen expenses because data is no longer gathered redundantly. Raw data may also be stored in one location and may be processed by different departments to suit their needs. Aside from reduction of cost, a business may also enhance its products or services, differentiate its product or service to competitors, lock in customers or buyers, lock in suppliers, raise barriers to meet entry, and establish alliances. These are the competitive advantages that a business may gain because of the use of information systems. Let us now talk about the different types of information systems that are used in organizations. Let's first discuss personal information system. It includes information systems that improve the productivity of individual users in performing standalone tasks. Examples include personal productivity software such as word processing, presentation, and spreadsheet software. Next is group information system. It includes information systems that improve communications and support collaboration among members of a work group. Examples include instant messaging, web conferencing software, and email. Finally, enterprise information system. It includes information systems that organizations use to define structured interactions among their employees and with external customers, suppliers, government agencies, and other business partners. Examples include systems used to perform internal activities or those that support activities with external customers and suppliers, like online admission systems, e-commerce systems, and e-wallet systems. To ensure successful implementation and use of the information systems, key organizational complements must be in place. Employees must be well-trained and understand the need for the new system. They must also know what their role is in using or operating the system and to be aware of how to get the results they need from the system. 
employees that are trained, experienced, or experts can show others how to obtain value from the system and overcome problems. To get the benefits of the new system, employees must understand and be motivated to work together. Redesign and automation of existing work processes is expected when a new information system is introduced. Employees must be aware of these changes. When introducing a new system, employees must understand and accept their new roles and responsibilities, which might be similar or different from what they did before. 